Don't you get lonely? Don't you get lonely? Only around people, only around people. She said, Don't you get lonely? I said, Only around people, only around people. Isolated. Hey everybody, I'm Fred and welcome to Fred Talks. Here we get to know interesting individuals in a unique way, free, far from formal, in a place where we ask the questions that nobody else does. So join me on this journey as we get started, right? Plus, I'm always drinking. <laughs> Hey, uh, Muzu, Corona, man. We got to do the <laughs> Corona yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 How you doing, yeah. Nico? Good, 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 my nigga. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we meet the man behind AB Crazy's stunning visuals. From humble beginnings in the East to being the founder and of the Rock and Forever brand. He's forged a path to success as a songwriter, musician, hip hop artist, film director, music video director, photographer, entrepreneur, and all-around camera drip king. With the advent of HD camera phones, we all fancy ourselves as a handy with the cam, but this nigga is the real deal. Nickums work with some of the best in the industry, local and international, and today he's here to share his journey with us. So allow me and welcome in the Fresh Prince of Harari himself, Nico Musa. Yeah! <laughs> Nico. Yo, what's good, man? What's good, bro? Easy, easy, man. Long time, homie. Nice, right. nice being on your show, man. Yeah, man. Welcome to Fred Talks, bro. Fred Talks. <laughs> yeah. Net Kamuza, Fresh Prince of Ferrari. <laughs> ready to talk with Fred on Fred Talks. Good, man. I hope you're ready because, you know, on this show, we ask the questions that no one else is going to ask you, right? Yeah, let, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't be too much pressure. <laughs> Nah, don't worry, man. That is made under pressure. You know what they say, right? Yeah, I know. That's cool, man. Nah, okay. We're going to start off chill, man. Just tell the, tell the people who you are, where you're from, and what you're about. Give them a sense of Nico Musa. Okay, yeah. Nico Musa, a.k.a. Fresh Prince of Harare. So, definitely, you know, I'm from Zim, Harare, to be precise. Um, I'm a hip-hop artist, video director... Do a little bit of designing, like the suit that I'm wearing. It's actually my design. So yeah, I'm I'm in the art space. I'm a creative. So yeah, a little bit of writing and stuff. So yeah, just yeah. J just just label me as a creative, creative artist. Anything to do with art, I'm down. All right, so you yeah. don't just go with creative. Yeah. All right, cool, man. So I know you've been involved in a couple of videos. I know you work with a few, a few people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, AB, um, Scooby Nero, some big names, some small names. Ne yeah, a whole bunch. Yeah, uh, so like, um, what what kind of videos have you shot? Are you mostly in the music video scene? Are you trying to get in the film scene? Or what kind of like video are you into? Oh, with videos, um, I'm the creative director for AB Crazy. Um, I do high-end videos, I do commercials, I do fashion films. Trying to get into film, I've, 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 that's, that's the main goal. I've done just one, it's not yet out, we're still working on it. But yeah, the whole thing was, I wanted, I, I saw there was a, a void, like a space that no one was filling in, in music videos. Yeah. People were just making type of basic stuff. and. I get bored of basic stuff. So um, I actually had to come in with like your high end looks, you know, colorful. People know me as uh, the director with colorful visuals. Sure. So I make my videos look like your high end fashion commercial look to oh. videos. Yeah, because people like that whole low tones and whatnot. Me, I was like, let's go colorful. Let's show people. I like interesting things, things that caught the eye real quick. Like if you are passing through and my video plays there, you just look and you want to look again, like what's there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's the whole idea. Yeah. No, I do understand where you're coming from because I know when you watch a lot of local videos, especially back in the day, it yeah. is just uh, brown and black and 
Tea went orange city type of yeah, yeah, like it was city town type of thing. Exactly, there was nothing really interesting, and I also one of the strength is is, is set designs. So I like I like to to design sets and not just what most guys do. Just want to do a video. Okay, let's just go there then start rolling the camera now. We have to design the set, get some costumes. I work a lot with um, with uh, stylists, yeah. so I always urge artists to, to to have stylists on set. They design nice clothes and stuff, okay. and I buy a whole bunch of stuff just to have some set designs proper and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So obviously the guys back home now. A lot of them are rappers. You know, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. is a rapper, everybody is a musician, and Yo, they may be watching your videos and thinking, damn, man, I, I, I want a video from Nico. Um, what's it gonna random? Yo. Because we uh, high in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, no, but. Tell people back home, like, yeah. I gotta invest. So, what, what will it take? Uh, what I think, cause, cause I, I, I have different, like different packages. It depends with the video and the requirements, but I always try to, to also accommodate okay. upcoming and, and, and artists. So, so I have set of videos where it's, they're not that high end, high end. Yeah. Cause we shoot with the high end cameras, like what they use in Hollywood and your red Ari and stuff for the high end videos. Then we have this mirrorless DSLR 4K cameras okay. for those with a, a, a bit of a small budget so yeah. that we maintain the quality. Okay. So all, all my stuff I shoot is for quality. So the quality is going to be dope either way. Okay. Yeah, whether it's a low budget or a high end, but it's just now the texture is different because the other one is cinematic. The other one is just uh, DSLR quality type of thing, okay. but it's still 4K. So, but I think artists must be hustlers because we we all know that art it requires a lot you need to invest in yourself and i, I feel like a lot of artists they're not really investing in themselves so which now becomes i think they are they they, they really have to come up with ways to generate income yeah so that when they do their stuff when they market their stuff it's 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 on point because image your, your how you present yourself to the world also places you on if if your video is just low low and and, and you go to a promoter they'll just tell you ah okay two thousand for your show but if they see the video is on point yeah, the yeah. swag is on point image then they might pour you 10 or 15k okay. instead of 2k so it, it, it just depends with how the artists want to place themselves yeah. and also how hard are they hustling but if especially with, with, with like your hip-hop I've worked with a lot of hip-hop artists yeah. of which hip-hop is more competitive it's about swag it's about I got this I got that so you, your hustle game must be tight like your rhymes <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so basically Nico may reveal in anything he actually yeah, no, he, he, he took the toad around the, the whole thing. <laughs> numbers are tricky because it depends with the video yeah so yeah. It basically it's telling you that whatever you put in is how much you're going to get out whether it comes not just on the quality of the video but also how much you're going to make when promoters and stuff see so he's kicking some game there for y'all niggas if y'all listening out <laughs> yeah listen. yeah some game. okay so you do a bunch of things you are yeah. a creator you're a music video director you're trying to get into film but you're also an artist you, you do songs you make yeah. music what yeah. do you think is your core um talent or your core your core, your core thing that makes you you like what 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 would you choose if someone said today like yo man you, you can either be the best music video director in the world or the best artist in the world what is it that you actually want to do in uh, <laughs> okay that's a tricky one <laughs> hey, um wow well, okay I believe um I'm a spiritual person I'm from so Amen. I, I believe I believe if God gives you 10 talents, you can handle them. Okay. So I believe me having, I can't choose one yeah. because I believe I'm equally good in all the talents that I have. Because 
when I drop my songs, people go crazy like, yo, wow, damn, this is you. Yeah. They want to see the videos also. So I feel like it's, I'm equally good in all the spaces. It's just now to have the right team to, so that I can balance because I can't stretch too much on this side. Exactly. And yourself. exactly. So I think it's going to be hard to choose because I love the music. It's, it's, it, it's fun and it's, it's, it's something that, that's within me so I can just do it easy. Yeah. The same thing with videos. I can do it easy because I never went to school for videos. Yeah. I just started shooting. Okay. And self yeah, and 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 out, I I always have some friends who actually went to school for it, and they good. they always like, yo, bro, this is dope. Some of them, most of them, they actually want to learn from me. Okay, but I never went to school, so I don't even know the basics and whatnot. It, to me, it's natural. They got taught at school. For yeah. me, I just started. Just okay, let me do this. You know, so. And with the rhymes, I actually started with music because the, the idea was like, let me push music when I'm at a certain level, then I'll go into videos. Yeah. But then when I started with music, that was the wrong choice because with music, you spend a lot. Yeah. So True. I spend, I spend, I spend, then the bank account was running out and there's no cash flow. Yeah. Then I had to switch it up. So I shoot for a music side a bit. Yeah. Then I started doing videos. So we started paying off, paying the bills and also having money to do studio recordings and a whole lot of stuff. So, but now then I came back with that. Um, that's when I came back with the song that I did with AB, No Limit. Shout out to AB. Uh, and it actually did well because we were number one on 5FM for four weeks and one of the longest in the charts. Uh, so... <laughs> So from there and yeah, 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 no. <laughs> so from there and I started going heavy on the videos as well. Okay. Yeah. So I'm now doing both at the same time. Yeah. The music and the videos because the success that I that I got in videos yeah. and the success that I got in music yeah. it's almost equally the same and it's happening at the same time. Let's because see. you could see, I, I show for Zahara, Scubinero, and some big guys, some stuff with your... Main drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing is, having all that, it's going to be hard to, for me to say, okay, music is... Let me just focus on music because there I have some... Ah, so uh, basically it's like your kids, you can't choose. Yeah, exactly, I, I, it's going to be, it's going to be real hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I just wanted to catch you off guard with that question. But I, oh, yeah. I like your answer because people always think you've got to choose a certain thing or certain path. A lot of them say jack of all trades, master of none. But I believe oh, yeah, yeah. you can be a jack of all trades and you can master all of them as long as you know how to balance your team. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the trick is on the balance. The if, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you mentioned that you were born in Zim. Yeah. yeah. And then you move here. So how does that influence, first of all, your music and also your video? In fact, in general, your whole, all of your content. How does having the perspective of being from Zim and also living in South Africa and how does that influence how you see the world and how you portray that in your content? Uh, I feel like music wise, uh, the, the, the influence is heavily from Zim. Yeah. Uh, which is why I called myself Fresh Prince of Arani because I didn't want to disconnect with the Whoop, whoop. Yeah. With your, yeah, with, with your roots. Yeah, yeah, with the roots. So, because mostly the the response is overwhelming. Yeah. And also the mindset that I have. Yes, now I'm in Jova, but that hustle that we grew up on and, and the lifestyle at home, it's what we are trying to bring even when we come this side. Yeah. So the hustle mentality it's, it's, it's what's the, if you say like some of the old songs have a problem. Yeah. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. But yeah, the, the, the influence is more like hip hop with that type of swag from the same stuff because we're heavily influenced by the Americans and stuff like that. And yeah. it's more competitive. 
in terms of flows and swag and how you look, how you present yourself and stuff. Yeah. So music wise at home is having that heavy impact yeah. and bringing it this side you also get one or two ideas when you come this side you know because there's a different vibe all yeah. together so fusing the two vibes and creating something new which makes it easier for, for for me to 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 communicate with the guys from this side and the guys from the other side yeah which which makes it unique and different in a way. So would you consider it an advantage or a disadvantage? I think it's an advantage because you know um, a traveling ma man has uh, wider more broader uh, open is, is more open minded because you see different cultures, different lifestyles. So that means I have more stories than people that don't really travel because all they know is uh, all, all you see, see is all you know. Yeah. So uh, for me, I've, I've, I've seen different lifestyles uh, and also with the talents that I have, the shooting and also featuring different guys from different nations, you get to hear different stories and different lifestyle that you see. So it actually influences you in being more open-minded in, in the craft, whether it's it's in music, videos. Yeah, it, yeah, it gives and you... Uh, a universal mind, so to say. Yeah, and yeah. when it comes to creativity, of course, the the, the best uh, uh, tool you can have is an open mind, right? As exactly. As yeah. It's so yeah, I mean, I mean you, you. I remember you shot um, one of my first videos back in the day, or the oh, one, yeah. one, of, one of my first videos <laughs> I've ever paid for, should I say? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, all in one, and I was like, man, this guy's making us pay for videos, man. And this guy crazy, man. <laughs> But it's been good to see you grow from there because now it actually showed like guys make people pay for your services. Oh, yeah, Believe yeah, yeah. in yourself and say, listen, you gotta pay me because I know what I'm doing and I'm gonna it showed like man, you know what you're gonna yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, because I, I remember AP. that's way back. Yeah man, and, way back, man. And 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 we just having fun and like yo, let's do this. I'm like, no man. Shoot videos, yeah, this, you let's do serious, this. Man. and and the the progress from there and the growth, yo, it's it's heavy because the next thing that's when I was like, because that time I was still on my nine to five and I yeah. was just doing videos on the yeah. side, and the demand for videos actually grew, yeah, and I was like, no, this is too much now, nine to five and this, let me just quit this and take a risk and go all the way be an entrepreneur yeah I've, so I've, I've, I've read a book it's called the the 80 20 principle it's right. a it's a business book yeah. and one of one of the principles in there is it's called the tipping point they say like if you keep pushing and you keep pushing and you keep yeah. pushing there comes a point where something is going to tip and it's going to start it's going to start pu pulling it's going to start bringing in what you've been putting up so oh, yeah, you yeah. saying now like you got to that point, that's a big point where you realize, okay, here's where I'm gonna make some money from so, this and I yeah, need to yeah. quit. So uh maybe there's some aspiring um video directors or artists or creatives out there and they they wondering, but when is that point? You know, is it at two thousand per video, is it at five thousand? Is it at when I get ten video requests or so how do you how do you think is the best way from your opinion? To know at that point, like now, it's time for to my point of view, it hustle. was it was more like I'm shooting a lot of videos, and now I'm having a lot of clients. Yeah. So, and something within me was just like, no man, this this is no longer cutting it. Yeah. You know, now just go full time because I could see that with the demand that I was having, yeah. I could. It was it wasn't more about. I need to be rich off this, but you can. But it was like I can, I can pay my bills. I can have one or two extra, and and I'm good. And the, the stress is less. There's no boss saying this, this. There's no the pressure. Is, I can think freely and be more creative. Yeah. Less. So that was more like what made me made the choice to actually be like you know what I think it's time up up. So I actually resigned and uh, How did that go? Just, 
you see, I was I was very tight with my boss. He was more like a brother. He oh. was now like a family because I worked there for for years. Bro. Yeah. So it was no longer just work. It was family. So it was a bit painful on his side. But for me, it was like I need to stop now. Yeah. Because me, I was looking at okay, I need to also build my own kingdom and my own empire. Yeah. So. If I start now, when it's still early, I can make my mistakes and keep going until I'm now mature in business. Okay. So it was like, okay, let me quickly start something and learn from it. Well, you have make time. my mistakes. Well, yeah. start, you are still young you have and have more time mistakes. to make the mistakes. Okay. Yeah. So, and what you're saying is that. That tipping point, that decision, yeah. it can't be made in absolute assurance. Like definitely now is the time because I'm definitely not. Yeah, no, you can't because it's, it's still a risk. risk. It's still it, a it's, risk. It's yeah. a risk. Even it's when like, you know you're getting all of those clients, and yeah, like, you're still gonna have to risk. You're still gonna have to take the leap. Yeah, well, they won't come every day. They won't come every month. Yeah, it's not gonna so you need to learn serving. You need to to also maintain to know how to deal with customers. Because you're dealing with people with different uh, attitudes, yeah. different moods and stuff. How to maintain a client. Yeah, so the business side. Also, so, yeah, exactly. How, so, is, how is exactly, like, what does it entail? Maybe just the simple the simple things about the business. For me, side. it was easy because I did uh, business administration. I never get to finish, but yeah, I, when I got the knowledge that I wanted, I was like, okay, that's cool. And, and I, when I was back, back yeah. in Zim, no, okay. no, no, before we even were going yeah. online and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So and also in an entrepreneur course, we did like okay. at home, and I used to attend a lot of business seminars. Alright. Because I always figured from from way back that I'm gonna be a businessman. I knew what I wanted from from an early age, like media space. I'm gonna be a mogul. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. I, it, it was just that thing when I was like, no, this is the direction I'm going, um, but I need the know-how. So I've, I've always had a curious mind on, on business to say, you know what, I don't, I don't want to work for people. I want to employ my people, you know. Yeah. Because my thing is, I've always been like, you know, we need to own like your corporations and stuff. Yeah. And employ masses because I'm, I'm from Arare and we see the economy was nice and it started falling. everything started falling crumbling and, and I could see people with degrees they don't have work I could see people with who are educated but there's no work yeah and so my idea actually part of me not going to film school yeah was to inspire people that were in the state that I was in or people that can't afford to go to film school yeah. to say that won't stop you from making it. That's important. So it was with 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 my music and the videos, yeah. it's more on you don't need to have it all for you to be up there. Yeah. Because I I, I want to be that inspiration to, to my people to say because I know they're in the, the situation they're in is very hard yeah. and it's tough yeah. and some of them uh, paying for school fees might be luxury because that money it's supposed to pay to, to buy food yeah. to pay the bills yeah. otherwise you are you are sleeping yeah. outside so that's how hard and bad the, the, the situation is you know yeah especially yeah. now during this time you know covid and Co everything. yeah um i'm sure everyone can relate to that but. yeah so no but besides even covid just before you know yeah. zim economy crashed like oh no we know like yeah, yeah african, so, african countries as well yeah yeah so so the thing was like don't let um like okay i don't have certain uh, circumstances yeah. detect you make it or not yeah so it was more like if you need they, there's so many tools to 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 get information and to learn nowadays you yeah. can go online yeah so instead of going on 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 instagram or facebook or on all these social medias you can just go on google and type how to shoot yeah or let's say you want to be um 
a therapist, just all day type how to, how to be a therapist how or people. how to massage people. Yeah. That easy. Shout Even welding, you can just then you just get one or two of the tools that you have. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's more like the thing to inspire also people that are in in, in hard circumstances and hard situations. Yeah. To Those say are your, yeah. Whatever you are doing, uh, make sure the situation you are in doesn't detect where you are going to be later on. You are actually okay, going yeah. to be. So, as Nico was telling you guys, say pass, you can get on Google, situation. your best friends as long as you're the Insta, man, Facebook, and, and Twitter, and your, your best, best yeah, no. friends, your best words you need to know is how to, that's all. Whatever you need to learn how to do, just put how to, that's it. So, um, a lot of people, when I'm watching um, interviews, yeah. especially with like big guys, yeah. you know, like celebrities, there's always like a little gap which I notice where they'll talk about where where they started, then they'll talk about where they are, but they never talk about those little links that got them there. So I'm gonna ask you a question here, which just so we can just make a bit of a connection. Oh, yeah. How did you link up with AB Crazy? Uh it, it was actually easy. In fact, because <laughs> uh, I worked with. Um, Someone introduced me to Rashid and uh, from Metro FM. Rashid, Rashid, yeah. Rashid, Rashid K. Rashid yeah. K. So we actually became Shout friends. Out. Okay. And um, I showed his video with Sakwe. Okay. Yeah. So we became friends over the years. Then I was like, yo, man, I want to shoot for. Uh, hook me up, AB. I want to shoot for, for, for AB. It was like, I know, easy. He just called AB, AB was like, oh, okay, cool. Hit me up, there's the song, we started work, we did the video. Yeah. So when we did the video, after the video, that's when AB found out that I'm an artist as well. So he was like, oh, dope, let's, let's, because he loved the video and the, the work vibe, the vibe was just proper, it wasn't, yeah. yeah. So... Then I sent him a couple of my songs. He was like, "Yeah, cool. Let's let's work on it. Let's work on a song." Yeah. That's when he made No Limit. He actually surprised me. It, it was more like a freestyle how he made that song. Yeah. yeah. Just and we just said, "Nah, no, keep that hook." <laughs> and and we actually and everyone liked it and the beat was crazy. I was yeah, like, shit! Nice, yeah. Yo, he's, he's a good producer also. Yo, he produced that beat. Yeah, he's the one who produced the song. Yeah, 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 so he yeah, made the beat. Good. Yeah. He, I know he's dope. He's dope with the beats and the production is crazy. Mm -hmm. the, the artist side is crazy also. Uh, shout out to him, Kalawa. Yeah. So it was actually from there we actually became friends. Yeah. Like, ah, we just started, oh, okay, we started vibing. I went to the studio. We did that song. It came out, it actually surprised us, it came out because that song was for fun. Yeah. Send it to radio, boom. Blew up. It blew up I real remember. quick, bruh. I because remember. the song then we we did a club tour. I, I remember the, I came to the one of the Exactly <laughs> to one, yo, 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 yo. I was like, ah oh. <laughs> you actually surprised me. I was like, yo, this is my OG man. Yeah, we started with this cats and <laughs> yeah. yo, it was crazy, bruh. So when we 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 sent the video uh, the, the song to radio. Five FM was it, it just I was shocked because they premiered they told us it's premiering tonight. What? When I, I, I went I was listening. Then the DJ just said it's a joke, like yo, ah this one is gonna be in the charts. This one is crazy, <laughs> but the next thing on the charts. It's on the charts four weeks in a row, number one. I'm like, what? So and oh, of which it was actually the first time for me to be in SA charts. Yeah. And for A B to be uh in the five FM charts. Oh uh, you so it actually <laughs> broke records for <laughs> us on <laughs> you know, <laughs> like to be on or on number one on the charts yeah. for him on, on, on five. I didn't know. Like he's been on 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 Yeah, because they've done some stuff, and stuff and, and 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 crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm surprised stuff. that that's But that was like 
it, it, it was just crazy on all levels Damn. and the video we just did the video it, that was the funny part um, I was like I need a crazy idea for this video let's <laughs> come up with some crazy weird stuff then came up with the ideas we said okay let's do this we shot the video the video was I'm gonna have to give you we a actually Yo, the levels, it actually changed the whole video so, scene in SA, you know, like, I'm yo. I'm give you props on the video, man. The video like, is uh, out of control, man. Uh, everyone who saw yeah. the video was just like, it's shit, really sick. wow. Really, really so sick. It, it really opened doors for me. And um, from there, we actually became friends. We started touring. We went to, to um, different cities doing performances okay. in SA. We, with that one, so from there we just became tight friends and doing more stuff, more and songs, the rest more history. videos. Yeah, and now over time, and yo, because I think I've done yeah. Now it's it's three videos that I've done for him, and we're actually planning on doing more and stuff. And the new song that I just did, uh, my song uh, Fake, featuring AB, we're Bang actually it. planning the video. Yo, it's crazy. Bang man. It. It's crazy. Y'all need to go look out for that. Fake. Nico Musa. Fake featuring AB Crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. So no, yeah, that's no how politics. that's how it, it, it actually became. And then um, I had a friend also who featured a guy who featured you saw the visuals uh, for, for my song Chaka Laka. He was like, shit, this Another is crazy. One. Another then one. he was like, yo man, I'm doing this video. I, I there's this Zahara song, you need to shoot this because these visuals are sick. Then now we have Zahara on board, Scooby saw the stuff. Then so this more and works, more right? artists started coming through and so basically actually... don't be scared when you make that first acquaintance, as you yeah. said, Rashid K, right? Yeah, yeah. And he does that he, he did he does the hip hop show with Toskidos. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you know the rappers know. But yeah. don't be scared to ask. And yeah, I think you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I yeah. think you just humble yourself and, and, and ask. It's it's quite easy. It, you relationships. Know. Yeah, yeah, create relationships and, and maintain them. Yes, maintain Cause, them. Because it, it's it's one thing to create. Yeah. But to maintain that's the hardest part. Yeah. It's one thing so, to ask. Deliver exactly, yeah. and also what started bringing in more gigs was the quality of the work. Deliver, yeah, yeah. So don't uh, ask and then and disappoint. Then, yeah, Deliver. because that will yeah. just mess up your yes, whole career. Then you're done. And, yeah, and, and you're done. So it's it's to create relations, have good relations with people, and also put in the work. So that it, it sustains and, and also nature the relationships with people because that person who introduce you to the next person, exactly. to the next person, to the next person, all of a sudden you are now they, they. you know. Yeah. So you gotta be a people's person. People, Focus. Exactly. Don't 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 you don't think of people as pawns or something. Nature exactly. relationships. Your yeah. friends don't you, don't think of them as my way my come up or yeah. what you see. I, I, I feel like and, yeah. yeah, I feel like a lot of people use uh, want to use yeah. other people instead of actually create legit relationships, relationships and connections. Yeah, because we all know that yes, it has to be beneficial in in a certain way, but don't make it more about that about that yeah yeah because we're humans we have feelings and exactly. stuff i i see uh this guy just want to play with me because he wants some free videos yeah. or he wants uh, yeah. uh, me to to jump on his song it, it it doesn't sit well but when it's now you create proper relations it's easy anytime yeah. i might be the one to even say yo that song is dope bro let's do a video for that exactly and you know oh yeah. shit, this song is dope let me That's let me call this guy to jump on it you yeah. know so it's 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 always to to create relationships maintain them and also put in good work out there because your work is a is a reflection of, of of you and your capabilities and what you can do. Yeah, yeah. your work will speak for you because you know you can't exactly. always be there speaking, but your work will speak for you when no one else is speaking for oh. you. 
or nothing else is speaking for you. Okay, so we're gonna do one more question before we get into the quick fire. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, you said you, you you planning to go into the movies side. I know that's a passion of yours as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah film side or all of that. So yeah. international, local. Um, spot from Spike Lee. It doesn't have to even be African American or black. Um, you know. Michael Bay or Quentin oh, yeah. or Loco, you know, um, Akino Motoso, uh, I, know, I hope I didn't screw up his surname, but like, oh, yeah. who was your inspiration and what kind of, um, what kind of vibe do you want from the cinematic side? Like, what are you trying to do? Trying to come with something unique or are you trying to do something else? Are you trying to portray some um, African stories or are you just trying to portray movies, you know? I like movies like Hotel Rwanda, yeah, movies uh, like Don, um, yeah, Don movies Western like the, the boy yeah. who I first went, you know, that my love, yeah, 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 it's good. I like African stories, okay, you know, and yeah, and, and I also, that. yeah, and I also enjoy even if we go sci fi and whatnot, but I, I want those authentic African stories. So, the whole idea, I feel like Africa has been portrayed in a different What do you think about the Netflix movie? film, the Sangoma one? What's it called? Eight. Have you seen that? Uh, no, I haven't. This is, it's a new oh. movie. It's about the Sangomas. Oh, okay. and it's very different, but it's very cool, man. Yeah, I it's like a different take on African stories. Like, it's, is it the it's one with the guy who had it's a, a baby? Movie. He's like a, a old baby man. in the back. I don't know if he has. I actually haven't watched. I watched the trailer. It's an old man, yeah, uh, a black guy, and then he comes to this Afrikaans family. And oh then yeah, some no, no, I watched monster. it. I watched it on Netflix. Yeah, 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 I watched it. It's, it's dope. It's on like international level. Like, Apparently the shooting, shooting is good. Apparently the, shooting, the, the cinematography is great. The cinematography is great. The editing is great. The color grading is great. The story is great. Okay. Like it's it's proper. It's it's bringing out African stories on that level. Yes. Where it's God of which God. that's yeah. that's what well, what we are trying more because people have been labeling Africa as Stereotype, that right? gully, yeah, shanks, yeah, people suffering, which is part of it. But we but all grew not... up and we in Africa, bro. Some of thank us, you. Some I, of I, us. I'm, I'm a city boy. I was born in Arara, in the capital. I, I, I haven't really. I don't really know. You the, don't know. The, you're not the, the village. The, the village uh, yeah. Type. It's, it's just passing through, like you know. Gosh, but when gosh. they label Africa or oh, the sharks, I'm not from the sharks. I'm, I grew up in a in a in a in a, in a um, not we were not rich. We we're just okay. Yeah. You know. We got middle class. We got middle class. class. We yeah, got there was still middle class. Everything. So we were there. We had everything at home. It was nice. It was you know. Yeah. So for me, this the the way that I feel they portray Africa is more like you, it's either you, you have to be poor. Or, or you like super rich dictator? Super, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like so. So my my point was to to enter the film industry and tell African stories the right way. Yeah. But the one who really inspired me was Ice Cube. For real? You know when you watch those Friday? Ah, uh, Ice Cube is a definitely one of every. I think even my biggest inspiration yeah because he was do doing it. music exactly and he managed. was acting and he was evolution is producing that so yeah. that was my thing like I'm an artist okay. I also act a bit the other movies that are that I actually shot yeah. uh, it says that we lost the footage and stuff I was uh, the main actor there I wrote the movie and if I was not in front of the camera I was behind holding it. behind the camera uh, I, and uh, <laughs> so so <laughs> So it was more like, you know, so he inspired me because he's one of those guys that actually showed me that you don't need to be boxed. Don't call just me boxing. Just, just, uh, no, you're, just imagine if they told Ice Cube that you're just an artist. Just we a, wouldn't have had Friday. Friday. You get it? Man, what or, was... or if, if, if they said you're just, you're just in movies. We wouldn't have all those songs. Yeah, so, NWA. Exactly. It shows so, you, yeah. So for me, he is that that um, that person that actually inspired me to actually do more. And as time goes on, you started looking at Tyler Perry and how he did wow. with this. Wow, another one. We've seen he just the studio came with in his Hollywood own now. space. Oh, you know, you know, my thing, my thing is to to create your own space. Yeah. 
I feel like the world is big enough for everyone. So to just come and, and, and also not to say everyone has to go to Hollywood for you to be recognized as that or for you to put out work that is dope. I applaud so, that. So for me it was more like I look at people like that where I'm like, oh okay. They are creating something out of nothing yeah. with their own situation and they made it. Especially Tyler Perry just made wow. it to another Atlanta, level. Atlanta and he's bigger yeah, than the bra. Hollywood, right? It's yeah, so, like. so that's more like my thing to say, okay, let's let's create let me create something yeah. and have my own standards, not my standards being detected by Hollywood or tell me how to to yeah. tell my stories because of certain funding because my thing is we need to fund our own movies so that we don't that's where the control is the, con the that's content the control. Or exactly the funding controls. so exactly yeah. so and, and that's my thing and also bringing new new talent and stuff instead yeah. of recycling sometimes it gets boring this it does. Uh, I see too. In the music industry, I in the see, film I industry, see the same, people, same faces. And I mean, how many faces and stuff of which there's a lot of how many people are graduating if, uh, every day from film school from and film after school. and whatnot. It's, yeah, like, it's, it's a whole never lot. to be seen again. Yeah. So good point there. Eh? Yeah. So that's that, that's more like my thing to say. Let's create our own. Let me just create my own thing. And so those people really inspired me. Ice Cube, Tyler Perry. Like yo, you can actually do this. It's pretty sure with the. He's shown. I don't. And I, it's crazy I, I, you, you just need a good product. I don't need someone to tell me that you know what. These are the standards. This you have to do it like this. No, this is my story. I tell it how I, however I want. How I want to say. It. Word up. Yeah. yeah. Word, man. Yeah, I mean Tyler Perry is a big inspiration because it's weird that Tyler Perry had to come after. Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, oh, these bruh. guys were Yo, way Spike Lee. Where did that go? Spike Lee. Oh, yeah, come on. Right. That, Denzel, right. come on. Yeah. And he had to show them, like, just do it for yourself and take exactly. the risk. It's a risk. Yeah. He spent a lot of money on that studio. It could no, go no, under. No, yeah, exactly. It could go under. Yeah. But I, I, isn't think, it I think worth it goes with the risk. As, yeah. Because that's what these guys do the Jews, yeah. the white people, they do that and they realize that if you don't create your own thing, you're going to be under somebody's. Yeah, I, I feel like. That's why know, Dave Chappelle came to Africa. Yeah, especially <laughs> as Africans, we actually need to be on that point where we control our own stuff. All or nothing. Take the risk. Exactly. All or nothing. So, because you find out that most of the stuff that has been done in, in Africa, it's, it's not done by Africans. Yeah, it's you. If you really dig deep, there's yeah, someone behind the mask, Yeah, because most of right? most of the movies, even our 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 heroes, the your, best things. Yo, 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 Mandela come, movies. Come who to came see and, whatever, whatever. Yeah, how do you get it's, it's, Mark it's, Wahlberg it's, to come play? Yeah, who had to come and play? And, this, and, 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 and I've forgotten who played um um the Mandela in the movie, but yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they can't even so, do the accents. Yeah, you know Jennifer, so not to take away, not to take away anything from. From, from those actors yeah. and stuff, it's it's work to them and yeah. it's money. And it's also like but, thank you for actually but telling exactly. our stories. But yeah, yeah, yeah. At least they're acknowledging that these are our heroes and stuff. Yes. But I'm just saying, wouldn't it be nice if it's told by me? Oh, yes. You get it. Mm. Uh, why why would it, it? It would be nice to get a Mugabe story being told by me because yeah, because you know I'm Forrest from Whitaker where he's from. Him. I know our lifestyle, the accent. I put it proper. I can portray. I can tell that story. It's real. That someone who is getting it from reading and whatnot. We 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 hands on on the ground. We, we know what's happening. Exactly. So I feel like that's where we need to correct all these things that's partly main of the reasons why we need to so it's just to get our finances right so that we can fund ourselves so that because if, if, if you get funding from certain people now they tell you okay let's get this big artist so that it will sell the movie yeah we need the sales but we control the script we, we control the narrative and we control you get everything it. yeah else so and don't do this and yeah that. no we, and then we, do we need to 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 to, to change yeah, the whole scene. I feel like financial yeah. education is important in the arts here because we don't understand about taking a risk and using that and saying, if I sink or swim. This is what Kanye was 
yelling about on suede show, right? You say, yeah, yo, Nike bro. wouldn't give me freedom. Yeah, that's Nike wouldn't give me don't my know that old is. line. Nike Nobody wouldn't do this. this, and he looked crazy. Yeah, Adidas gave it to him, and he's a billionaire. But we need to take the risk, so it's like we that's, can't continue. Yeah, bec- and and who was really attacking him the most? The because, African American yeah, community. It's, it's Black people. Like we're that. attacking him and we're saying, but you have to understand how much does he yeah. want? He's married to the country. You, you have to understand like, that. What about the, all the, the wealth in the world the, that we the don't slave, have? This mentality. mentality is still there. And the, Why do you want that? Why do you want that? It's because more, that's freedom. I it's more you. like you've been like someone who's been in an abusive relationship okay yeah exactly so exactly. you need healing after that but there's no healing so there was no healing for for all those slaves yeah and they pass it on to the kids and the grandkids and the cre- the, the the fear is there for black people are scared to to take risk yeah and black people we always like okay no uh no ah uh, that's for white folks Ah, you can't do that. Just imagine if if I'm a young boy and I tell my mom, um, I'm gonna build a shop. Oh. I'm gonna own something like Shoprite mm. all over the country. They'll just be like, Ah, this boy is something. <laughs> Keep on dreaming, you know, because they are not told that we can reach there. Yeah, you are. You get it. But now we need. That's why we need stories of. Of people that have made it, yeah, success stories. Success stories from from actually people from the ground up. That's why if you, if if you actually become successful, uh, it's actually good to tell your own story because there are people who grew up where you grew up from, people who are still growing up in that place, who actually were eating quarter with you, and they now see the whole spectrum is changed. Exactly. The tables have turned. Just imagine you from Alex then everything changes yeah. now you are the fancy houses you can afford fancy cars and all that and you you go back you tell that your story yeah. to someone who is still in that position that you are in yeah. they will get you they will understand you then you tell me a guy that grew up wherever i don't even know and you don't know what and they tell me their success story Philly for me yeah. it's just a story exactly because i can't relate there yeah. are certain things that i'll be like no but bruh but i didn't do you do know that, Alex, I bruh, do that. Exactly. We, it's right you, bruh, you, like, let it, yeah. you know but if it's someone who is in that situation you understand because you tell you you can't tell me shit bruh we used to eat Mukhodu day and I had to eat and water you. for two days I and shit. Than you. Yeah, yeah, I had it worse than you. I'm from this street. Exactly. You get, exactly. it. you get it and understand it more. So I just feel like that's what we need to do in in Africa. In in Africa, in, in all business sectors, be it you are in mining, you are in welding, you are in what. We need those success stories to be told. That's yeah. why now we in movies so we can tell those stories. Yeah, man. And, and and let the kids know that no, you can make it from wherever you're from, however the situation. That it doesn't define you. you it, it's up to you to be whatever you wanna be. Word. I couldn't have put it better myself, my name. Yeah, true, yeah. true, man. It just takes too long for the mental to change. It seems, cause to be honest, the physical changed in 1994, but the mind takes a while to catch up. To say. Yeah, but I feel. Yeah. Like, yeah. Every reason to take a risk, every reason to do what True. we have to do. And it's where you're willing to die for your free physical freedom is how you're supposed to willing to die for your mental, yeah. mental freedom as well. True. We no, I feel also our governments need to actually do something we to to clear our mind and cancelling for, for people yeah. and also like you know a lot of business seminars so that because most of us, Schools. you only get to know business. Yeah, it's only, it's only almost in college where you get your own, where you start thinking um, independently. Independently. Generation or wealth where all the parents the, raise us to say, yeah. hey, when you this, when you this age invest, when you this age yeah. think for no, yourself. No, but besides even that, just for you to know that you can own a company. But it's hard for you it's to know school, that when you... It's school. Our school is designed to to create workers to exactly it's still an so industrial you, yeah so you only like get to know that when, when you go higher up and maybe now it's it's a bit late 
That's when you know like, oh, I can only actually start exactly. my own and do this. That's what I'm saying. Even in primary you school, need if you early. need, to, they need to go their business seminars, just yeah. tell the kids, okay, yeah. you know, you can actually do this and try to make this and, yeah. you know, but we are built to be workers. That's what the system yeah. is building us to be, which means the same people that control We'll a big corporation will just continue and we'll continue looking for funding to them when we want to do our own project. Yeah, exactly. So that means our stories will keep on be told, be in, told in someone's way. Yes. They will be, you know, so, so else's yeah. Eyes. So it's it, it's a bit crazy, man. Alright, no, cool, Nico. At least we touched on a lot. So now we're gonna go into the rapid fire questions. Oh yeah, it was good to get no Nico, but now we're going in straight into the fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we we're gonna start with you. Gotta take a shot of something. Okay. Or you're gonna take a shot at someone, but it's your choice since you don't drink. Who do wow. you need to take a shot at? Who ain't doing what's supposed to be done? Nah, it doesn't matter. Politician, musician, person, whatever. I hope we're politicians. Yeah. Who? Oh, it's the who. <laughs> I know I, I would just say all the head of states for, for, for African countries. I can, all of them. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't you should have yeah, all African politicians. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But all our leaders after like they they not doing it right. Okay, no, okay. fair enough. I mean, you need to yeah. Go. Okay, so what are some insecurities that you have? Sure. You know, name, name two. I always try to be perfect. So myself, I'm too particular. So that's one. Like, yeah. you know, when I'm doing a song, like, but how will people take this? or it's a video like yo that is you know yeah. that's one and what else i don't know man <laughs> <laughs> all right well that was two at least yeah yeah. And the songs. <laughs> yeah okay so in they say we got a lot of um well bad bad bitches i'm yeah, just yeah. gonna say it it's <laughs> a lot of nice oh, yeah, yeah. chicks in the fame in the yeah. fame industry boity politics whatever yeah who would you hit and who would you miss <laughs> <laughs> yo okay uh give kim it a jade i would hit kim jade yeah okay i'm gonna look her up i don't know her. oh she's from mtv Hi. she's dope Ah, a miss. Shit. The thing is, I don't really watch TV, so I'm trying to think. Okay. Yeah, so I'm always <laughs> working. So I'm trying to think of which girl do I know that I would say, nah. It might take a while though, because I, I have to watch TV, so I don't even know the names or what. Ah, uh, it's cool then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One piece of financial advice that you would give to um, the up and comers, just one, anything. Save, 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 save. Save, save, save? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's the soundtrack to your life? If your life had one song soundtrack, what would it be? No limit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your own song, very yeah. nice song. Okay. So I don't know if you're in a relationship or not, but give one piece of dating advice to the young guys coming up. It's a strange world these days, a little. Wow. <laughs> Um, it's funny to be bad vibes of dating when you're not dating. Uh, <laughs> oh, you drinking that one now? <laughs> yeah, I hope it was a shot. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you need a shot. Anyway. I think just be honest and 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 understand each other. I think the best thing is for relationship is to be best friends. Okay. Because when you're best friends, you can tell when your partner is not sitting right with something. Yeah. Just like you can tell when they're not feeling well, you can tell yeah, when something is up. It's just like with my friends. True. We've been friends for a long time. I can tell. You can come and say, I know I'm good, but I can tell ah, I'm negative, not good. So I feel like with relationships, it's when you become friends, you can talk about anything and you can actually tell when something is wrong or something is up and you can 
discuss it and not fight it up. No, 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 G, no to GBT. <laughs> <laughs> and a whole lot of people are busy hitting each other and killing each other out there, man. We don't want all that. Be friends, talk things out, man. Yeah, that's a good piece of advice, especially these days. Okay, so I'm a piano or trap? Trap. Okay. I'll be trapping out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I see you a Netflix fan. Breaking Bad or Money Heist? Money Heist. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me, Money Heist. <laughs> <laughs> Where I want money, money has it. Hi. <laughs> Caspo, aka. Mmm. Shit. Yeah, that's a tough one. I would go with. Depending on what. Music side. Whatever. The hustle. I would go. Okay. It's In, what I'm no, all, all, all around. All around. I'll go with Caspo. Okay, yeah. that's an interesting one. I like the dancing guy, okay? That's why I wanted to explain because it's a ah, bit tricky. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you have a corona hustle that you've been doing during corona? I've been shooting, bro. Oh, I stick to the same hustle. That's yeah, how I, like I, I, that's I've how been like shooting. It. Yeah, okay. So. But I actually feel like I, 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 I'm in the wrong business. I should have sold this thing because I saw that guy who bought some cars. Off selling some mask. What? I'm like, like switch. Yeah. I'm switch. <laughs> going pharmaceutical. I see, see the matching the lights, matching the, the, the whole outfit. Oh, yeah. What's your biggest L and what's your biggest W? Mm. Uh, definitely. Yeah, there's a lot, so. I, I, <laughs> yo, I have a lot of biggest, or the one you actually appreciated the most, like. Yeah. Um, I think it's the the breakthrough in in as a director and as an artist. Yeah. Because it was too quick for me. Because well, yeah. I actually put a plan and I was waiting for six months for you to come through, and it came through in like uh, the first or the second month. Yeah. Blessings, and, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was, it was dope. And the air will be shit. The air, the air, the air. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even, you don't even think about it. No. No, no, right. Yo, bro. I'm just, just I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think. It's just obstacles, not, yeah, not, to get over. Not, yeah, not, not take them as well. Yeah, you know, you know, like, like the other day we had an accident, but the car didn't really. Only the car, not us. So it's it's, it's just it's just minor. You just have to expenses. Yeah, but it's not really like a loss of I haven't lost in a while. Good. I feel like my my life is not a competition. I oh, it's a challenge. Yeah. So the thing is, every day I always get those small successes per day. So I don't, I, I hardly get losses, man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Get Drake or Roddy Rich? I would go with Roddy. You go with Roddy. Drake. With Drake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's the, the that's at least at least. Okay. Uh, weed or alcohol? Uh, I don't do both, so. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends who do that? Uh, I would say we. <laughs> so you like the stoners more? Yeah, no, I actually relate to stoners. Yeah. I, I like stoners, they're chilled. Okay. Yeah. You've never tried drugs? No. You've never tried alcohol? No. Shout out, kids. You see, it's possible, right? Entertainment without that shit. You get it? Yeah, right. we, 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 it, it has messed up a lot of my people. So. Yeah. For our people, in fact. Yeah. a lot of people have been messed up. Exactly. Uh, through so not everyone can. Yeah, so. most of the crime is either they were high or they were drunk. So, hey, man. Yeah, shout out, positive message. And then finally, what makes you unique? Uh, you, your product, everything you do, what makes you unique? Why are you Nikon and why is there only one Nikon? Um. I will split it into two since the artist and straight the director. On the artist side, I think I I I have my own way of bringing out stories, which is different. And 
my old age. Because I have that chill flow, but like that careless flow, like I just, yeah. like it's not exactly, uh, which I feel like a lot of people don't have, or a lot of people force it to come out. Yeah. With videos, I actually have my own, like people know colorful stuff, they know those crazy high end feel to videos. Yeah. So, which separates me from a lot of artists, and a lot of artists and directors. Yeah. So, I just think. I'm just me. I just because I love colorful stuff. Yeah. Uh, you can even see from the outfit. No, it's right there. Because I designed this guy. Shut up, man. <laughs> yeah. Merch, merch. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, I, 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 I love, I love color. It, 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 it drives me and keeps me going. When I see colorful stuff, it just lights up my my whole world. So. So that's why even with music, I, I like to make happy songs. I like to make videos that are colorful. All right, Nico. It was great having you on, my nigga. Yo, pleasure, pleasure, man. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Great talks. You talked your life. You told us everything, and we appreciate you, and we love it. I'm sure the viewers at home are going to come in and tell us what they love about you. Maybe what oh, they yeah, yeah. love about you. But either way, you know it's all love. I actually appreciate being on the show because it's it's actually nice to see that you know I came up with this boy. <laughs> We're the Israel together and and now 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 I'm pushing my own stuff, he's pushing his stuff, and it's actually nice to see that we are both doing something, yeah. you know? Yeah. And 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 also this is like my first hectic interview. Bless. And I've had radio interviews. I haven't really had like a TV show. I've yeah. been dodging those. <laughs> no, like <laughs> so, so, so this one I was like, I ah, know this is my own boy. Let me just do it. And that. it's actually nice because I haven't been put under pressure in a while. So, yeah, so this is yeah. this is actually dope and and opening up to to some stories because I've never told people my stories. Yeah. It will be just like, oh, okay, you have dropped that song. So how is that song? So you just talk about the song, not really inspiring people and whatnot and whatnot. So this is really dope. I appreciate being on the show, man. No problem. I'm sure a lot of people were inspired and definitely your stories might just bring up the next Nikom and the other guy. Yeah, that's the so idea, that's the whole, man. Hope. That's the whole yeah. behind this. And um, yeah, um, where can we find you on social and how can we get hold of you? We want to see everything. I'm sure they want to see everything. We'll put links, but I'm going to let Nikom tell you. Yeah, you can, you can catch me on Nikom underscore Musa on all social platforms. It's just the same. N-I-C-O-M underscore M-U-Z-A. Nikom Musa on all social platforms. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. YouTube, LinkedIn, yeah, um, the links are there, everything is there. The website is still under construction because we closed the one that we had. Because we are uh, work with you as a music video director or anything. Yeah, yeah, they they can just contact me on that. Social. Any any social, just pop in a message. I'm quick to respond. Dope. Yeah, because that's work. That's money. So yeah, top money. It's a wrap. <laughs> Boom. I'm isolated, but I don't hate it. Isolated, but I don't hate it. Isolated, but I don't hate it.